I know how we love to feed our hummingbirds and our hummingbirds love us for feeding them. But there are times when the weather is so bad and it's pouring and raining. What do you do? You can't put all of them out of the rain. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cover, a wonderful cover for your hummingbirds that they're gonna love you for it. And it's gonna cost you probably a dollar. If you have the parts, it'll cost you nothing. A dollar, two dollars, and you'll be able to have this for years to come. And the hummingbirds will be able to feed no matter what the weather is blowing, raining, drizzle, and even sunny, it will shade them from the hot sun. So let's go get this made so the hummingbirds can eat in a wonderful environment at your place and mine too. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm gonna show you here how these feeders have been working. We have had pouring rain. It seems like for weeks upon weeks, but we sometimes get a break, which we just did now, so I ran outside. This has been a lifesaver for the hummingbirds. Look how fun this is. I'm gonna show you exactly in a minute how to make them in different ways, multiple ways. Look at this. It, right in front of me, you saw me touch it. He wants to come feed. This shelters them from the rain. I'll tell you how to do this where it won't get wet. And this you can hang anywhere. And I made the chain where it will work for my garden. Now let's walk over to the other one. I made a couple of them and I plan on making about a dozen of them. Because not only will it keep the rain off of them, now they don't mind the rain, but it'll keep the sun off of them too in the summer. Remember, birds don't mind rain. That's natural. Water is life to them. But what we don't want is we don't want their formula that we make the nectar to get full of water because then it's diluted and it's not good for them. By protecting it this way, see how it can't get rained on? The formula that you make or buy stays exactly the right ratio they need. Now, here is a stand that I bought a while ago that this hummingbird is feeding on in front of me. I cannot use the one I made. It's too shallow here. It will, there's just not much you can do with it and it's short. Think about that when you're buying something if you've got a balcony or a deck. It's just too short. Where this one from the dollar store works far better because you've got this whole space here. You can hang something no matter what size the feeder is. It may lean a little bit, but it works really good. And that's what I have here, a flagpole. Just a flagpole attached here. And now I've got this beautiful screen that is protecting the feeder. Another one made in a different fashion, but protecting it from the rain and water. And that's where we're gonna go inside and make them. And then you can tweak it whatever way will work for you. And I think this is gonna work out great because it literally can cost you nothing if you've got a little bit of chain to hang something or a dollar from Dollar Tree, or if you want to splurge, we can go ahead and get this wire, which I'll show you exactly where you get it and how you get it. And the whole thing might cost you two. Let's go in the house and let's go make some. And then we'll come back outside. So here's the couple items we'll need. This square shaped net wire, I get this at Dollar Tree and it's in the stationary department there. It's kid friendly, so there's no sharp edges. And then a plant hanger, which you get in the plant department at Dollar Tree. That's all you need, but you can use any wire you want. Now you're gonna see where the middle is. That's the middle and that's where our hook is gonna be for hanging, as well as putting in the hummingbird feeder. So I take the chain and I'm going to trim it down and I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers and I'm gonna get it to the size I want. Now I want this to hang where the chain is very short. You can make it as long as you want, but the way I'm gonna hang it up, I want it short. So you can alter this to your liking. And then you do each corner. You will need to use a chain. One single wire hanging in the middle will not work because it will sway and move too much and that will upset the hummingbirds. By having three or four chains, it will stabilize it. So you'll get a good balance. So this basket hanging unit is perfect. So you trim the three down so they're about the same size, making sure that the hook that you're gonna hang is in the middle. That's all you need to do and you'll be good to go. And this wire is very soft and easy to pry open. All you'll need is one single pliers. Just by holding it and twisting it, it opens really good. See how fast it is? You just kind of twist it. And if you accidentally take off too much, you can always go back and put back another one or take off more. Either way, it's really easy to fix if it doesn't work to your liking. There it is. It's perfectly balanced. That's exactly what we need. Now... 
you are gonna hang the hummingbird feeder underneath. So you turn it over and there's gonna be multiple ways you can do this. To make this simple right now, I'm gonna use zip ties. We'll show you how you can do it without zip ties if you don't have them. But here I'm putting in a zip tie and you pull it. This is a pretty good size zip tie. It's a, quite a few inches long. See, you're gonna pull it, but don't pull it taut because I wanna be able to take my hummingbird feeder and hang it on. And you're gonna put it in the middle like that. And then you cut that little tail off. You don't need that. Now I'm gonna show you to go back and make sure you close all those hooks that we opened up. If you don't, they'll just slide all over the place and they'll never keep this balanced. You could have done it earlier, or you can do it now, whenever, but make sure you get them hooked on and tightened with your pliers so they don't slide and they stay on the block you want them to stay on, that square. Now with the zip tie, you saw where I put the black one, I'm now going to string one in the opposite direction. I'm trying to get it as centered as possible using zip ties and you cut the tail off. See, now I've got two and then I'm going to take a tiny little black zip tie I have here. You can use any color, of course, and go ahead and tie those two together. Now that's going to keep it pretty much in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it will really hold really nice the two together and having two zip ties just in case one broke your hummingbird feeder won't fall because you've got two there instead of one and it will keep it in the middle. Isn't that cool? Now it's pretty much done, except we've got to cover it. So what are we gonna do? We can use anything. We could use bubble wrap, we could use a flag, we could use a plastic that came with the flag, we can use a placemat. Now what I'm making here today is to protect it from the rain. We've been having a lot of rain and I don't want water getting into my hummingbird feeder because if it does, well, you gotta dump it out and throw it away because it dilutes the food and you'll find they won't wanna drink. See how nice that is? This is really easy. Now, don't get upset when I cut it. I'll explain in a minute why. But what we, we're gonna do with this, this is just a table mat, a place mat. It's plastic, it's gonna be perfect. It looks cute too. So if you look down on it, look how cute this looks. We're gonna cut it at the edge so we can clip it on. Now, just so you know, I'm not cutting a perfectly good one. Actually, it is good, but I bought a box of like 50 at a thrift store for like $4 one. So I've got a ton of these. So that's how you do it. You just cut it. Now look at these clips. These binders, they're metal. You can get them at the dollar stores. Look at that. Oh, a whole package for a dollar. You might even have something like that. You can use other stuff if you want to, too. You could fold it over and staple it if you wanted to. You could use a soldering iron and use zip ties to put it on, but I'm gonna use this so I could take it off, change it if I want, or do what I want with it. It's gonna hold it perfectly. So four is great. And see how we're gonna put it on? We're gonna put it to the point where it's on the bar as well. So it's holding the mat and it's on the little metal bar there, see? Now it's not gonna blow off, it's not gonna go anywhere, and they fold back. You can take the little handles on there and fold it back so it's nice and flat and won't be in anybody's way, and it looks good too. Now this is waterproof, not only waterproof, it will give them good shade in the summer too when the sun is beating on it. Look at that, this is ready to go out, and the hummingbirds are really going to appreciate you for that. So if you have an extra placemat, you can put that on top. Like I said, any plastic. We'll do another one so you'll get another idea because there's so many ways to do this. So here's the same thing. We're going to take that wire mesh. You can use any wire if you've got wire around the house. Believe me, it doesn't have to be this wire, but it was so cheap, you know, I bought it. And then again, there's the plant hanger. It's the hang a basket, a planter. So now again, we're going to do the very same thing. We're going to take the three chains, just like you saw earlier, trim them down by opening them up and don't toss the chains. These chains are now valuable for this one. So we're gonna make it again to the height we want and put in the middle, see? Now we're gonna turn it over. Now here's another way of doing it. You go back to the middle box. This way it's gonna be as balanced as possible. And don't worry about a little swing, the birds don't care. Remember, they swing around in trees, but we still want it balanced pretty much. We're gonna shorten the chain, because it's just too long and it's got that clanky little hook there we don't need. And we're gonna put it back together. So we're gonna shorten it, open the wire, and then put it back in, slip it in and close it. Now you've got a loop in the center and it's another way to hang a hummingbird feeder. 
That looks even neater than the other one, doesn't it? You could use wire, you could use string, rope, anything you want, something strong enough to hold a bird feeder. But today we're gonna use a chain on this one. And then bubble wrap, we all have bubble wrap. We get an order of something and it's full of bubble wrap. Well, this is perfect. So I cut the bu bubble wrap, say that 20 times, and I'm gonna clip it on with the clips. Again, you can fold it over, staple it, use paper fasteners, clothespins, anything you want. You just go ahead and put the binders on there and this is gonna hold it. This is going to make this waterproof. Now this is why I'm using the bubble wrap here. If it was just for the sun, I wouldn't need it. But since I want it waterproof, we're gonna use the bubble wrap. Why not? Don't throw it away, we're recycling. And then we're gonna put the binders and one on each corner. Again, make sure it's on that wire and it's gonna hold really nice. Now, you could leave it this way if you want it to be sunny, if you're in a shady location, that's fine. But here's the thing, bubble wrap might make noise when it's raining, you know, that click, 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 you know, from hitting the plastic. So I had this extra flag that you hang up and I don't need the dowel, so I'm pulled the dowel out. And now I'm just gonna slip the flag on. It doesn't matter if the flag gets wet, but it's not gonna drip through on the birds. So now I'm gonna fold the flag over on the bubble wrap Remove the clips real quick and fold it over. Just wanted you to see the options. You can leave it with or without, but I thought it might be a little noisy and they might appreciate having it nice and quiet and look pretty too. Look at that. We're done. Look how quick it was to make this cover and the birds are going to love you for it. It gives them a little bit of shade, gives them a little bit of color in life and look at that. You've got a hanger there to hang your hummingbird feeder and isn't that fun? It's pretty. Now you can, if you don't have anything, get a shower curtain from Dollar Tree. They have those too, and you can make multiple feeders or cover your plants with it, make a little greenhouse. Or if you bought something and there's plastic, like a flag or something, you know how you have plastic? Don't throw that away. That too could be used on the top to shelter the birds from the rain. And then you could cover it with any fabric, an old t-shirt or something you can cut up. Again, clothespins, paper fasteners, Think out of the box. If you don't have zip ties or the binders, the paper binders, you can use that. And there it is hanging in the house. See how it's gonna hang? And that's where you're gonna hang your hummingbird feeder, right there. See, now this one's got two. So if one broke, it's still gonna hold your hummingbird feeder. That's the first one we made using the placemat. See how cool that is? So when it rains, the water's gonna go off. And then here's the one with the flag and the bubble wrap and the chain. Same concept, just another way. And like I said, you can think out of the box and use whatever you've got. But the main thing is we're keeping the water off. And then when the, it's not raining anymore, you're gonna keep the sun off of them. And all we have to do now is take this pretty thing and hang it outside and see if the birds are gonna use it. Because this is something I just made. I make other things, as you can see there. There it is. I went outside, I hung it up, Gary was holding the camera for me. And I came in the house and I was gonna see how long it takes till they use it, cause it's new. I have those round ones, but I've never put this out. And guess what? Another one, I made two. Cause I think they're gonna work really good. Well, they're, what, they're right at the fader, so I haven't shut it off. Oh. And was I surprised? Yeah, before I even got in the door, it wasn't even that far. Within seconds, they were already under it. Took one look at it and thought, wow, we could be out of the rain. Why not? And now they can empty that feeder without it getting diluted from rain or anything. This has been the greatest thing. I'm gonna let you know I'll be making a dozen of these. I'm gonna use them in the summer as well as for the rain and the birds are gonna love me for it. And you too. Now this is feeder cover number three. My favorite, probably yours too. We're gonna use the same wire. You can use your own wire, but I just can't beat buying this for a dollar. It's great wire. Now, remember, and that's center. We're always gonna remember the center. Let's get to this first. Pipe cleaners, don't use it. I've tried it in the garden for different things and they dissolve in a couple months. But any other real wire like this, we've got wire laying around. This is perfect. And because it's on the thin side, I'm gonna use two. And I had an old hook from the dollar store hummingbird feeder. And I always keep those when they fall apart because the hooks are good. So I'm gonna use that hook because some hummingbird feeders have a loop instead of a hook. So this way I can put any feeder I want on this. So now I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna make sure that the wire is wrapped around and centered 
as much as possible in the middle of this wire rack thing, whatever it is. So we're just gonna get that wire twisted and make sure it's in the middle. Now, if it's not perfect, don't worry about it, but we're gonna get it as perfect as possible and then twist it on really good. And you'll see here, I twisted it onto the wire, so now that won't be floating around. So when I hang the hummingbird feeder, it will just stay right in one spot. And now I just tap to finish putting the wire on really good, just twisting it on. And remember, there's two wires there, so if one should ever break, it's still gonna hold on, which is really cool. You could use a zip tie, see the zip ties there, but I didn't. And those chains, by the way, you'll see that zip tie is seven inches. Well, those chains are about seven to eight inches too that are there. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Now remember the leftover chain? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I went down to grab another one and thought, no, I've got all these leftover chains. Look at this. So I made sure that three of them will be the same size. So if you have to take from another one, that's okay. They've been so easy. So I made sure that all three were the same. Two of them were, but one was not. And I made them all the same. Now, this is the easiest thing in the world. You're just going to clip it on. Look at this. I decide to go in on the corner so it won't float around anywhere. You can do it any way you want. If you want to put it on the outside, you can't. But I don't know. I did it that way. So I put it in on the two sides. Because remember, we're only using three chains. You can use four, but you always have to have three or four. Otherwise, you're, the whole thing will tip. This way, it's good and stabilized with three or four chains. I would never use four. I only use three. Now, this is going to be fun. At Dollar Tree, you can get a whole bag of these metal hooks. And they are shower curtain hooks. A whole bag. They're like a dozen in there. I always keep them on hand because I never know what I need to hang something anywhere, whether it's a feeder or something else. So I actually picked up a bag the other day when I was there. And now I put all three hooks, slipped them on there, and look at this. We're almost done. Don't have to do anything. No pliers right now or anything on these flags. Well, like the placemats. I bought a whole bunch of these once after Christmas. They must have been a quarter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to recycle. I'm going to use the flag just the way it is, but I'm going to use the plastic bag too. This is going to keep it from getting wet. And for you that don't want labels, I know some of you don't want that. I took the label off the plastic bag even. Even though you won't see it, somebody there is going to know it's there, so it's off. Now I folded the bag in half because the way I put the chains on, I had to pull it in a little bit. And that's okay because it gives a place for the hummingbirds to sit. They sit on top of this. They love grabbing that wire. Remember how small their feet are. And now I just slide on the flag. It's so colorful and pretty too. And I just fold it over. And then those paper binders, we're going to do the same thing. Fold everything over, tuck it in. And look at this. We're pretty much done. It literally took me less than five minutes, or let's say five minutes to put it together. And I'm ready to hang this outside. And you can use anything. If you got an old t-shirt or some fabric, I was going to use this fabric until I looked at it. And it was like, oh my gosh, hummingbirds, I see a pocket for a shirt coming very soon. So that's it. Now let's get this outside. So I ran outside so fast. I was so excited. And as soon as I hung it up, they came immediately. Now look at this. Not only did that feeder come from parts from the other two feeders, but that whole setup cost you no more than about two bucks because that feeder is a dollar also. Isn't that cool? I'm so excited. So now I showed you how I make covers and I'm gonna have them everywhere. Covers from the rain, covers from hawks, and covers from the sun on the hot summer days. So I hope I've given you some ideas Cover them with whatever fabric or flags or anything you want. You can leave them clear plastic too. But the birds are going to appreciate it. And you know what? You will too. You won't have to dump the feeder out after a rainstorm. And you know what? Just a note. This was made because I had requests on how to keep the feeders out of the rain. And I thought, well, let's get that together for you. So ask questions because even though I may not get to your answer, the thing is I'm thinking about it and I'm working on a project. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.